Welcome back. Welcome back to the uh, the shed, Fred shed, the original shed. And I've been making quite a few videos in here recently with the uh, Superstar 6900 there, and a few other little things on the on the bench. So yeah, I want to try and make this a little bit more sort of permanent because, um, as I said, I've got a few radios that I want to test out, and uh, yeah, it's quite a good place to make some videos always has been that's where i started from literally in the shed these two power supplies i've got the uh, 33 amp power supply there and i've got another one over there so i'm gonna have two power supplies so really i say these aren't really to be used as they are because obviously you know they're all open and everything so i need to uh, make a little wooden box or something for them to sort of stick them up out of the way so I uh, don't really want to go out and buy any wood. I've got lots of sort of scraps of uh, wood over from previous projects and things. A bit of MDF there. A few bits of wood knocking about there. So I don't really want to go out and sort of, you know, start buying more wood. So uh, we're going to try and knock something up with what we've got lying around. Uh, keep the costs down. Might make it look a little bit pretty at the end. But the old trusty Black & Decker workmate there. <laughs> And a cheap jigsaw. That's the way we're going to do it. So uh, yeah, this is Fred in the Shed style. I think the regular viewers would have noticed that I've mentioned a few times that I hate woodwork. Oh god, I really hate it. <laughs> I really hate woodwork. I'm crap at woodwork. I suppose that's not too bad for me, considering that I'm piss poor, <laughs> piss poor at woodwork. But anyway, you get the idea. The box that uh, the two power supplies there will sit into. Right, <clears throat> I found this knock, knock it about. It's a uh, acrylic metallic. It's got a quite, she's got sort of a sparkling sheen to it. <laughs> it looks a little bit, I don't know. Well, about two minutes later, <laughs> they're blue. I don't know really. Um, paint's still nice and fresh. Um, yeah, do you, maybe. Got a slight reaction on that one i think it's with grease on a fingerprint i didn't really prep them i don't know what do you think they're very blue aren't they um the whole theme of the case and everything is going to be blue but uh oh well it's done now isn't it can't go back okay i've got the power controllers there or power supplies i should say mounted on the board screwed in from the back they're nice and secure so the next job is to work out all of the electrics the mains coming in via the two halfway switches. through now getting the uh, electrics done and uh, yeah it's not going too bad those little crimp terminals aren't particularly resistant to heat i must admit they didn't quite go as well as i would have liked to have done on the little electric junction box there but it, it'll be safe you know it's you know it's insulated a got a little bit more done that's probably enough for today now um right we've got some dc coming out now We've got the main Uniden cable. So uh, is that sort of 25 amp, might even be 30 amp actually. I think it's 25 amp cable coming out. Uh, also wired in the that little 203 linear for the RM linear there. And you'll notice I've got a hard drive little caller on there, something I had knocking about. You can pick these up really cheap on eBay and something I've never really used for a hard drive, but it'll just um, blow a little bit of cool air onto the back and onto the sort of heat sink on the linear and I've had one before and they tend to run pretty hot that's the only downside of them but hopefully that'll keep it cooler and uh, make it last longer so all the switches are in
So there you go, that's the completed box for those two 33 amp switch mode power supplies. And yeah, everything is nicely uh, isolated now. Sort of quite, quite, quite safe and well, it wasn't bad, was it? I mean, it was made out of scrap wood. Things I had uh, had knocking around. I think total cost was less than 10 quid and that was for the uh, piece of Perspex there and those couple of cheap eBay little uh, fault meters, everything else. Um, yeah, just stuff I had sort of knocking around. So yeah, it seems to work well. There we go. So that is a uh, potential 66 amps DC switch mode. Uh, I'll let you know how those uh, power supplies sort of get on. And then we've got the little linear there, which is being uh, called by that uh, hard drive fan, just to keep that sort of uh, that keep nice and cool. And of course, finally, because this is kind of threading the shed, and uh, I fancied a little bit of bling in here for the videos. There you go. It all lights up very, uh, very, <laughs> very fancy, fancy, doesn't it? So uh, at night time, that'll all sort of light up when I. Uh, do some videos in here with the radio so but of course that's going to be mounted a lot higher there up on the uh, shed wall and then the radio is underneath and then the whole thing it just basically detaches for winter time because I don't want to leave it in here because it does get a little bit uh, moist in here in the winter so there you go that's that project done just something to spend uh, spend my time on just waste a little bit of time when you've got it and I uh, hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching cheers and I'll catch you all on the next one